Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, we've got a little bit of Picard news, um, Picard rumour. Um, this is the second cast rumour. The first was that Michael Dawn was going to be in the show because he was on set and signed a clapper. Now, I thought that was a bit of a stretch. I thought it was possible that maybe they'd just slipped up, but um, it, apparently it turns out that um, officially he was just there on set um, visiting that day and signed it because they had a whole bunch of original cast members together. Um, and he's a nice guy. Um, I've met him. I'm sure he would have been happy to sign stuff. I'm sure it just happened. Now, there's a small chance he was doing a cameo and they just don't want anyone to know it yet, so they just made that story up. But... It's also quite plausible that he wasn't, so I'm not counting on that. So that seems to be disproved. Officially it has, but um, they li they've lied to us before about a bunch of things, so it could still be happening. Now the next one is Q, and this seems like a bit of a stretch, although at least there's, in a way, more circumstantial physical evidence. <laughs> Basically, um, someone posted a video, um, who was it? Um, a visual effects guy from Picard and Discovery, uh, Charles Collier, uh, he did a video basically saying we're wrapping up on um, Picard and they showed some footage and at the end of the footage was a guy with a camera in front of a blue screen taking photos of someone and just for a second you see the edge of the shot and you see a red glove um, poised on some sort of wooden shape. It could be the arm of a chair or it could be um, a staff or something um, and people are speculating that it's Q and that Q is going to appear in Picard. Now red gloves are not exclusive to Q. I can't remember any other characters wearing red gloves. Maybe Dax in her Klingon wedding dress that was red leather and I seem to recall um, Laurel, um, I always want to call L'Oreal, um, Laurel actually having a really over-the-top Klingon dress and I don't see why they wouldn't design other Klingons wearing costumes like that or other aliens wearing costumes like that so it could just and it looks like a feminine hand to me it doesn't look like John Delancey's hand even though it's very small and you can't quite tell how far away the other person is from the, um, the other person but it looks to me like it would be it could be a woman so it could easily just be a female character with red gloves or a slightly androgynous character with red gloves or maybe a character is just supposed to be red and it's supposed to be skin or something or an android that's red it could be anything um and the if you look at the the post or whatever they're leaning on it doesn't look anything like either of the um because what people are thinking of is when when q came out in the hovering chair and when he was the judge um the first time there were these um sculpted um, like dragon heads that were just like sitting up like that. In Disco um, in All Good Things, they were like dragons with wings that were like <laughs> like that. And in this, it's just straight piece of wood going down, and it could just be a chair. So could just that <laughs> could still be Q posing next to a chair. Um, but I think it's a bit of a stretch, and I just don't think they would go that way because that seem it doesn't seem like they're. Because Q could just fix everything and ma make everything rosy again, and, and it does seem too easy, and Q sort of bookended Next Gen, and I think they wanted to leave it there. They didn't want to try and rival Encounter of Farpoint or um, All Good Things. Um, and it is just too easy for Q to pop up and fix everything or change things, and he's just too difficult to deal with. But they wouldn't be smart enough to avoid him, actually, so they could throw him in there. I just don't know, but I, I don't think it's him. I think it's just another actor with a red glove. Um, I, I just It's just it's too much of a stretch, and I just don't think they would allow it in if it had been Q. Obviously, they don't want people to see the costume, so you see a little bit of a glove, no one's really going to care. So I can understand them cropping that video that way and then letting it go out that way because it doesn't really show anything. But if it was Q, that could be a hint. So I've got a feeling they'd be a bit tighter with it. So I don't think it is Q, but I just sort of, I wasn't going to comment on it, and I sort of thought, I was watching a couple of videos, there's a couple of YouTube videos on it now, and um, I just thought, uh, I kind of want to comment in case it becomes Q, so then when it comes out I can do another video, um, but I don't think it's Q, just like I didn't think it's Michael Dawn, but I could be wrong, they could have lied to us, um, and I hope it's not Q, because they're trying to do a serious, grounded 
reality drama sci-fi series is what they're promising or suggesting and Q is just too camp and too easy and he raises the stakes too high and it's just too big a story um, he can control the universe basically so I hope they don't deal with him um, but yeah I just wanted to say something on that because I thought it was fascinating and I also thought it was a little weird that some people I saw the first video I saw was Ketwalski or whatever his name is and I don't like him he's too perky he's very a bit shilly he's very easy to dismiss anything negative and I admit that the fandom men who I also watch a lot of videos for are very negative they're quite happy to jump on something negative they do their research and all that but they sort of have their agenda and this guy has his agenda and I would just like someone in between who's just being objective I'm trying to be objective I've, I've gone both ways myself I've gone a bit more hatery with discovery than um, the other side but I have my stupid optimistic moments too where I think oh my god it's gonna be great they're gonna do the best thing for us and then they don't um, but yeah I wish there was some more objective people um, Freeback Theatre I like but he doesn't really deal with Star Trek specifically but um yep okay so we don't know yet it's speculation it's rumor anything could happen um, I'm just gonna leave it there I haven't heard anything else about the card but there is New York Comic Con or something coming up I think this weekend hopefully we'll get a bit more from that because we didn't get a lot from Star Trek Las Vegas. I think we got nothing from Star Trek Las Vegas. Last time we got something was from um, the proper San Diego Comic Con. But I'm over six minutes. There's just really not that much to talk about. So I'm just going to go. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any news or know anything about this or have an opinion, feel free to let me know. Because I am really curious to see if it becomes anything or if it's just clutching at straws with red gloves. Thanks. Bye.